Hello everyone. I'm here together with Philip on the Creative Server. Hi. Hey. And yeah, I just wanted to show you something quickly. Uh, while dipping around, I was needing a, well, a randomizer with different outputs. And uh, yeah, I was just looking up on YouTube's QPM I made one a while ago, which was before 1.5, before the new one with cool droppers. Uh, uh, hopper uh, randomizers and yeah I just actually tried to rearrange this and uh, make four of these into a compact 4-bit randomizer and that's what I came up with and yeah Philip had uh, the great idea to actually improve on the timing a little bit and make the whole system a little bit simpler so let's just quickly check out what happens when I press this button here one of those torches will light up and it's completely random and currently absolutely even the chances so uh, all torches light up with the same chance and there we had the one in 16 chance that actually none of them lights up because we do only have 15 torches in here and to get 16 different outputs one of them is actually just zero um, yeah so how does this work it's actually pretty simple um, I guess you might already know these combinations here uh, in each of those droppers there's a wooden shovel and a redstone and since the shovel is uh, non stackable it counts as a complete stack and therefore gives us a uh, three redstone signal length of output that means uh, if there is a shovel in the or if the dropper selects a shovel to put into the hopper it will actually uh, the signal will reach to the torch here but if it's only a redstone it won't and therefore you can well uh, those pistons will actually trigger pretty much randomly you see this time the middle to ones retracted then only the one in the side and so on so it's uh, for each of those pistons, there is currently a 50-50 chance uh, if it whether it retracts or not. And up here, it's actually also really simple. We do have a signal strength of 15, and four um, comparators in a row. And uh, well, the signal just gets subtracted, and that depends on whether the piston here is extended or not. Because um, a comparator can actually grab a signal out of a uh, tile entity, in this case it's a furnace, uh, even if there is a block in between, but only if it's a solid block. So if I retract this, uh, you see the comparator turns off. And the interesting part is that this is no actual redstone power, so I can actually retract this, although it seems to be that this uh, red block here is transmitting power and normally would actually butt power the piston here. Yeah, but it's working since this is this is not real redstone power. You would not get any signal if you put a redstone on top of this, but the uh, comparator still grabs it out. Um, yeah, so what happens here? Well, the first furnace only contains a single item, the next one enough to uh, give out a signal strength of 2, the next one enough to give us out a signal strength of 4, and the last one gives out a signal strength of 8. And so we actually just subtracting these numbers depending on which kind of or which of those uh, pistons is retracted or not uh, from the signal strength here. So I can either subtract one, two, four, or eight, or any of those combinations, and we'll end up with uh, yeah 16 different combinations and yeah 16 different signal strengths from zero to 15. And this is just a decoder, a very common and standard one. Uh, which just uh, turns any signal strength into an output at the um, yeah at the position of it. So uh, let's take a look at this. Um, all of those torches are out beside this one because over here the signal actually reaches to the repeater, but not to the top repeater, and therefore doesn't invert uh, the torch here again. It's actually yeah pretty simple, and. Um, yeah, I guess other people have come up with this decoder before. The whole concept is just, well, a compact matter uh, way to compactify this. And uh, I thought I would share it with, it with you. And now to Philip's part, maybe you want to quickly explain what you did here. Um, yeah, since you have a delay of these uh, comparators, um, we need to adjust the timing here. So they don't trigger at the same time and yeah, therefore mess up the result you get here. Yeah, it was pretty important since uh, if you would just power those torches at the same time, you would actually get up to three different signals here. Since yeah, this is uh, this signal here that instantly reaches the redstone, while the others have a one tick delay, and therefore three different torches light up in a very quick succession. Uh, unless you actually well well come uh, like. Um, work against this time here by just uh, offsetting the um, time when you power those pistons here. It's pretty pretty simple and very effective. Yes, and that's our randomizer. A lot of rambling for a short little invention, but I thought it was pretty cool. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!
Bye.